At long last, I was starting to believe there was none brave enough to face me. Oh, well, well, well. Who do we have here? And I was hoping for some sort of dashing prince or a brave warrior. Yet here you stand, of all people, a runt from a crummy little town. With nothing but courage, it seems. Hmm. Tell me, little runt, what was it that drove you all this way here? Was it fame? Was it fortune? Was it glory? Was it knowing that your name will go down in history? Or are you just that stupid? Oh, love. What a noble purpose. Capable of conquering it all. Worth dying and killing for. <laughs> Love for who, exactly? Oh, my current vessel. Was it someone dear to you? You grew up together. Oh, isn't that sweet? The noble hero on the rescue of a loved one, facing peril at every turn. And even now, they stand here defiant. For your bravery, I will let you in on a little secret. He gave his body to me himself. Oh, do not look so surprised. You should know why he did it. No. Hmm. Well, in that case, it's time for a little story. You know this one. Once upon a time, in a crummy little town, lived an orphan who, for reasons that would be a mystery to any onlooker, was hated by everyone. They were mercilessly beaten and humiliated every single day. Yet they never waver, they never despair, and never allowed the world to put them down. Well, they cried. To be perfectly fair, they cried. They allowed themselves to. Which is a kind of strength in itself. Even if they didn't realize. Sound familiar yet? The orphan found solace and companionship in another person. Another child that lived in their town. He would hold them console them, and mend their wounds. He quickly became everything for the orphan. They would do everything for him. Their sanctuary. How so? Well, you being here is proof, isn't it? There is another story. Oh, don't look at me like that. This one you didn't know. In the same crummy town, there was a child, the only child, an heir of a wealthy family. He grew up surrounded by beautiful, precious things, but he was also surrounded by liars, bootlickers, backstabbers, and hypocrites. And among all, there was someone, an orphan who would treat him like a normal boy, who would talk to him with honest words and treat him with familiarity and true kindness. The only thing he ever wanted, a genuine friend. The orphan quickly became one of his most precious things above all others. But those bastards, how dare they hurt his most precious thing? How dare they try to make them cry? How dare they? How dare they? How dare they? How dare they? 
They deserve to suffer. They deserve the punishment. But that's just what I think. Punishing them is just what I would do after getting his memories. It's not the reason he made the deal with me. But he did. He chose this existence. He chose to be my vessel. Why? Isn't it obvious? Because he loved you. That love proved to be the end of him. A fatal mistake that cost him his very soul. And my undoing. I should kill you. I would. If not for these memories, these feelings, they haunt me. They hurt me, and they are not mine. They should be worthless to me. You should be worthless to me. Yet thinking that feels so wrong. And saying it out loud like I just did hurts the deepest part of me. <laughs> Seeing you standing there looking at me with that gaze of yours. Knowing that you came all this way for his sake. You really are just the same in his memories, aren't you? What did he do to me? What did he do to me? What did you do to me? Is this the intensity of his feelings for you? And yours for him? I've never felt this. I don't want it. <laughs> Knowing that you kept that silly promise the two of you made as children warms my... His heart. That's not me in your memories. That's not me in your heart. It is not me who you came for. Be mine. I said, be mine. Be mine as you were his. Need me as you needed him. Belong to me as you belonged to him. Love me as you loved him. And let me do the same. Let me be yours. Let me need you. Let me belong to you and let me love you. Or is it him you want? I can be him. I can pretend to be him for you. I can be him down to his very last mannerism. Even the smallest detail. You, you wouldn't notice the difference. No. I can cease my attack on the world. Or I can destroy it. You would only need to ask. I'll do whatever you want. I would move the stars. And if you want me to take your sword and run it through my heart, I will let you do that too. Anything for you. Just don't ever leave me. 